So we're at the best you, and I was here last year and the year before, but when I came last year, I met a lady who, her energy and her vibe was just so great, and as you know, it's partly why we decided to create this platform at Dada TV to reflect the diversity in our communities of people who are doing great things and making a difference in the world, and it's all about impact. So I was so glad when I found out that the same lady is here this year, really committed, really passionate, came all the way across the waters. I'm glad to see. Glad to have you here, Sonia. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. Like last year was a little different, of course. I was getting exposed to London for the very first time. Oh, was and the that best your first year, that was my first time last okay. year. Very first time. And so they were asking, like, who is this Dr. Sonia? Where do you come across the waters? And I was invited to the best you in the um, in California. And I was like, well, I want to go to the one in, uh, in the UK. It's like, you want to go to the UK? Absolutely. There are people there, right? There's still people there who want to live their best life. So I made a decision. And this year was a no-brainer. I'm going back, but at a bigger level, a larger level, because I got big dreams. Might as well do as big. Absolutely. And you brought some of your crew with you as well. Yes, I did. These ladies are amazing. There's four that are already based here in the UK, which were great. They would have been in my program. So who wouldn't know more about me than the ladies that I've served? And then there's two that serve me that are here. They're part of the team. And then we also brought four coaches that are in my program, and now they're speaking on the platform as well. So we're going to make it a community. Wow. So share with us, because I, I know a little bit about your story, but, well, first of all, what's your vision? Because you have so much energy. Like, <laughs> you know, every time I walk past you, I'm a little bit tired, and I'm like, no, 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 I can't be getting tired, because she's on fire. So, so what drives you? What's the vision? I have children and I want to leave a legacy and I'm not going to be able to leave that legacy if I'm sitting around and watching everybody else do it. I have to do something too. And so as I think about the children and the grandchildren that I don't have, I want them to be able to see that they don't necessarily have to go get a job. They don't have to struggle for money. I want to be the first to break that generational curse about poverty and living from paycheck to paycheck or even having a job. I want to be able to, my boys, because I have three grown men to be able to see now because they saw mom go through the military for 21 years. They saw me go through the divorce. They've heard my, you know, the story, but now they get to see mom changing lives. So it's one of the legacy and two is for women like this that are sitting around listening. Okay, so I know a bit of your story. Yeah. Some people will be looking at you and saying, but you look so confident, you look so fine, you look so good, <laughs> you got it all going on, you're making dope. But it always wasn't like that, no. was it? And, and you know, so where was that, where did you start from? Just because I want the women to really connect with, we're living in a time when anything is possible. I started on my death couch, not death bed. Now, four years ago, I was in a place where I wanted to take my own life. It just wasn't enough. You know, I had served in the military and I just wanted more. So when people say, oh, you seem so confident, but what they don't realize four years ago, I wasn't. I was still questioning who I am, am I enough? And I had to realize that I had to do something different. If not, I was going to die like that. I wasn't physically dying, but emotionally I was. So as a woman, and that's the biggest thing that I talk to women about, there is more. There is more to the situation that you're in right now. After the, the 18 years of marriage, that divorce took me out. I had to write a book about it wow. called The Divorce That Saved My Life. So after the divorce that, that saved that's your the life. Name of the book, the divorce that saved my life. Twelve principles to overcoming a broken relationship. And then I went in and wrote a book called Shift Pain into Power. It is all about taking all of the heartache and disappointments that you have and shifting it into something positive. This is not like for some people. Oh, they're just it's hoopla, it's rubbish, as you say. But it's not rubbish. This is life. I do this like I need to breathe, and that's what I teach. You got to have some passion about what you want and a purpose in life to be able to get to your next level. That's what it's all about. And what I'm hearing you say, so my spiritual mentor talks about pain does not define you. Yes. That you can actually use pain as a catalyst yes. to drive you to another level of success. And it seems to me that that's what you did. Absolutely. I call it shifting pain into power. But power is not the traditional meaning. Power stands for possibilities. We all have the possibilities. If you look for them, they're there. We all have opportunities, but a lot of times we let our opportunities bypass us. The W is for wealth, worth, and well-being. Most of us are not thinking about our well-being. We're thinking about everybody else instead of ourselves. It's okay. Don't feel guilty about thinking about you. Wealth, I know you want it. I surely do. But the question is, 
how do you get there? So it's about wealth and your worth. We got to understand that we're valuable. Your life is valuable. Your message is valuable. You bring something to this earth and you got to know what it is. And if you don't, you need to go find it. He is doing it in excellence. Maybe it's my military background. I don't know. It but is. I, it is. It is, is it? Yeah. Nobody, everybody's like this yeah, though, right? Yeah. No? No? No, 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 no. no. I've seen you. I, I came last time. The last yes. time I came and I saw you out there. And the way you go like this is, you no, know, it's really it, it is. 21 years, it's all I know. You say you're going to do something, do it, and do it in excellence. Absolutely. You show people how to do something, and then they can repeat. Yes. I don't want them repeating the nonsense. And then the R, I believe we all have responsibility. Maya Angelou said, I come as one, but I stand as 10,000. I didn't know until last year that was one of her, her poems, her quotes, and I was saying it. You represent 10,000 people. You yourself represent 10,000 people that you were touched their lives. And it may not be physically reach out and touch, but there are folks that you're going to help with their lives just by your story. That is my mandate in life. I, again, I do this like I have to breathe. I feel if I leave this earth, I'm going to leave here knowing I did everything I was supposed to do. Whether if it people like it or not, I'm going to understand what my power is. And when I start walking in it, everything is different for me now. Wow. Wow. And people can literally, I can literally feel it. That, <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. So we just had a, we just had a little ESP moment where we yes, had a conversation yes, yes. between us without speaking, right? Yes. And we were like, just high five. I looked chair and I looked over there like, how did you, I saw the chair over there. It was like it, a conversation that would normally happen about five or 10 minutes. We did it in a couple of seconds. In our head, yes, telepathy. And you know, that's what I love about this time because truly I believe that, and I'm experiencing that there is a new season upon the earth. Yes. And those who understand what time it is, real recognize real, because that's what we did when we met. And, and so immediately, even though we only just met, we can have a conversation that's familiar and it doesn't have anything to do with the ego. We can just get on and have that conversation. Power recognizes power though. Think about it, not the power you want to control everything, but just standing in your own and folks that are confident, you're good. Like, hey, what's going on? Hey, how are you doing? And we just connect it right away. Two years later. Absolutely. You know, but the other thing is, I mean, I'd like to ask you, what is a single message that you'd like to give to women? Because here's what I'm recognizing. I'm recognizing that we're living in this time when we're talking about the feminine energy and the rise of the feminine energy, which is fantastic because mm -hmm. the male energy has run its course and it hasn't really done a great job. Let's be real. Yeah. But recognizing that male and female energy is not about man and woman, but you're carrying that female energy. And you're also carrying that male energy, aren't you? So, as a woman who has understood that she is responsible for the balance of both of these energies, what's the message that you feel me? That's the best question, and I love sharing this piece. What I've always heard is, I was intimidating. And I shared earlier when I was speaking to them, especially women, that's your problem, not mine. And when I got to a place, I just want to be me. This is who I am. It's not my fault that I did 21 years and they taught me well about standing in my power. At the same time, I understand my looks fool people a lot and I hear that all the time. Well, you look this way, but you act this way. And it's not something I concentrated on. I just concentrated on being me. And so the biggest advice that I could give to women that are listening to this over and over again, just be you but be the best version of you. At that point, I don't have to pretend to be someone else. In the military, I did at some point. I would stand on a desk and yell and scream because I was a small statue and I was leading men. And then I got to a place, just be you. Don't have to stand anymore. And it's when you know your real power is when you walk in a room and people feel your energy and you don't say a word. And so the balance of it is just being you, but again, being the best version of you. No more trying to dominate with men. My word is dominate, but it's dominate your own life. I'm just saying, this is a year of the woman, I'll be honest. And I know there's some great men out there, but this is really the year for a woman to really step up to the plate. Those who want to, if by the end of 2019, and I don't know when this is running, if you are a woman and if you're not dominating in a certain place, it's only because you don't want to. And you have more excuses than you have reasons to move forward. Absolutely, because life itself mm -hmm. is supporting you. So. I say to people, it's like a surfer who's experienced and a surfer who doesn't know how to surf. Meaning, the surfer who's experienced just waits for the wave to come and then just rides that wave. 
effortlessly they are moving so much more than the person who's inexperienced feel me that wave is I wasn't even thinking about it but what happens you're already in movement you're already in motion and so when it does come and you're not concentrating on that it just pushes you forward I have no idea how I went so fast and it's going even faster and some folks well I've never heard of you well I've never heard of you either <laughs> But I've never heard of, you either, I've heard of you either. However, just give me a few minutes and you'll learn who I am. And you just realize that who you are, it's like I'm bursting at the seams, getting, trying to get a message out. Because our days are numbered. But again, I'm not leaving this earth without it get, my message getting out there to help someone get to their next level. Because I can feel that, I'm going to just be real. We haven't had this conversation, but I feel like God has given you clarity about your purpose. Am I feeling you right? Oh, yeah. I'm, getting, I'm trying not to get emotional right now. It's okay. We could go there. It's like he told me, if you would just stay the course and not give up, I got something for you. I could have never dreamed this big. Who one moment you're on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and next thing you're on Bravo television with your own television show, being a nobody. I had more people come like, wait a minute, how did you do this? I said, I just stayed the course. All I heard God's voice was, if you just do what I say, your name will go before millions. The last shall be the first. And it has been written. That's all I remember. It has been written. It was already written. I just needed to get the confidence to walk it out. So the message, the message out there is, imagine if it has already been written for you and all you have to do is just step into your greatness and, and really what you're showing people you know many of us as adults the way that we've been raised and conditioned and i hope it's not too yeah. I'm sorry yeah it's just you, you want women to get it yeah this is it you sit back and you watch them struggle we struggle financially we struggle with our kids we struggle with our men we struggle with our emotions we do all of that and some of us never move so these tears are for that woman who just won't move because it's time. We are just sitting and watching everybody else do stuff. And we're like, it should be me next. Well, you're not doing anything. Well, I should be that person. I should have done that. But you haven't even opened your mouth to share your story. I don't know why he chose me. There are times I want to give it to somebody else. But I realize, well, hell, I got it now. It's mine and I'm going to bear it. But I get to show some other woman, how do you go through a divorce? How do you have a child at 15 years old? How do you go through rape and still have a story and a message? And tell it to where it's so confident to where I know who I am now. And I haven't always known that, but now I know. But the big thing about it, I get to show other women how to do this. I'm not keeping it for myself. I'm not perfect by no means, but I get to share it. Many of us won't share. And I feel like if I don't share it, I'm going to die. Well, you know, sister, that the blessing comes from the sharing, right? The blessing comes from the sharing. So you, really what we're saying is that because you've borne your soul to all of these people, yeah. Yeah. you are blessed and highly favored. All day long. Every day, all day, things could be bad. And it's like, why are you always smiling? I know no other way. I'm not going back to that place. This is the only way to where I need to go. I'm very focused on where I'm going. I'm not letting anybody get in the way because I hear him constantly. No, don't talk to that person. No, don't do this. I'm like, why? I want to. No, they're not going to allow you to do what you need to do. That divorce actually really did save my life. It was just not a cliche. It happened. And so at this point, I get emotional about some that don't get it. Just can you just stay still long enough? Can you focus the scatterbrain and I'm this way and we're angry and we're frustrated? Why? Why? And most of us don't know why. We don't know why. So it is my job and I raise my right hand and I promise whatever I need to do to help someone get to their next level, it frees me up. It frees me up. So deep, and, and and we said last year that we're gonna we're gonna find that right platform yes. to to do something together, and maybe this is just the beginning of it. You know, you spoke, and one of the things I heard you saying, and and I want to put it to the women because you're right. There are many women who, because of being so stuck for so long, it's hard to move, even when you want to move. Your head's saying maybe I should, but you don't know. But you talked about even if you don't know what to do, then. At least get yourself a mentor. Yes, exactly. When I heard you say that, I was like, 
And I know even that, saying that, people still won't get it. They'll be yeah. thinking, yeah. oh, that's what this is about. Yeah. They're trying to get some business from me. And it's not about that. You know, one of the best ways to move your life forward, if you don't know how to, is get someone in your life who you know, like, and trust, and they've got the experience to demonstrate that where you want to get to, they're already there. Yes. And people always ask, oh, who is a person if you that influences your life? And I'm going to say Oprah, not the traditional reasons, because I felt like there's someone, I had to fill her shoes, but it's a next generation. Who will it be? And I said, why not you? And I said, like, no, no, that's too much responsibility. So my question to her was not how you made billions. It is how did you deal with so much power? She said, I really didn't know until I start doing it. So you don't realize who you are until you're on your way up. At this part, I was like, ah, oh, it's okay. But as I begin to do things differently and think differently, I started to say, well, maybe you have something. So I'm very cautious about who I spend my time with, who I talk to, even the team that I specifically picked my team that came. It wasn't like I need somebody to help me. I picked eight, what is these six people that came and then the other four that came as a speaker here. Very specific. I hear his voice very clearly. And it's more so of those, I would say these three times the people, the women that are watching. It's some women right now that are watching things happen. They're watching everything in life happen around them and they don't really question, it's just happening. Oh, it's always gonna be this way. And then there's some that are watching and then the others are asking what happened? Oh my gosh, what just happened? They're lost in the sauce and they just don't know because they're so focused on the family and the kids. I tell women, you're more than just your husband's wife. You're more than your children's mother. There's so much more to who you are. Figure out who she is. And lastly, there are people making it happen. I decided I just wanted to be not just a woman. Someone said something to me. He said, this is the first time I've ever heard someone speak. And I didn't see gender and I didn't see color. And I said, because what you're looking at is not really who I am. I want to make things happen. And I used to have a fear. You want to know my biggest fear? Let us know. That I could not mentor and coach women who didn't look like me. Can you, can you believe that? Yeah, I hear you. And I realized that this is not color at all. This is not about getting somebody's money. This is about changing your life. And something that you want is going to cost you something. And it's not always money. It could be energy and it can be your time. Some people are not willing to invest anything. You know what? We had to go there. I, I, we were going to cut it short, but I just have to go there just to echo the point. So I've had a spiritual mentor for 35 years. Okay. And he taught me a lot of things. Uh -huh. And I was really passionate, like you, I want to make a difference in my community. And my passion is young people first, and then it's come to become women. And for 20 years, we invested in, in young people. And I'm talking about young adults, up to 35. And my mentor said this to me, and I had to go through 20 years to realize that when you give people things for free, they don't appreciate it. That don't make sense. So I'm going to invest in you and give you something for free and... It doesn't make you reach for anything. If I'm giving you free, it doesn't. It keeps you exactly where you are. Me as a coach at high levels and working with women, I always say, I want to give you everything. If I could bottle it up and say, take a sip. But if I gave it to you, you're not really going to do anything with it if you're not ready. It's got to cost you something. The sacrifices made to get to your next level are serious. That's why I don't allow anybody to come, well, I need this. Do you know the sacrifices that I made? Christmas, everybody is on vacation and doing this. Guess where I was? Building my business. Again, I did it like I wanted to breathe. It's a part of who I am. And the truth be known, so 20 years I did my experiment, yeah. giving people things for free. Mm -hmm. And then I said to my mentor, you know what? It doesn't make sense, mm -hmm. but you're right. Because yeah. now I'm going to charge you, yeah. and now you pay attention. Yes. You that show doesn't... up differently. <laughs> if you invested $10,000 with me, you're going to show up. Hey, what do you have to teach me? I'm willing to learn. That's the type of mindset we got to have. The poverty mindset makes you want things for free. Poverty makes you want to stay right here. But when you start thinking about wanting more stuff, okay, what is it that I need? This is a question. Who do I need to become to get to that next level? Absolutely. So I'm going to say something that's really bold now. Mm -hmm. You look how this lady looks so fine. <laughs> and, 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 and I ain't broke either. So imagine if we actually don't need your money, because that's the truth. You know, between me seeing you this time last year and uh, in July, I celebrated 35 years with my spiritual mentor. 
the very next month, I met someone who is my new mentor, mm -hmm. and he's a billionaire. A billionaire. And we are now looking at doing things on another level. So the point I'm making and I'm echoing is that it is actually spiritual law that if you want to grow and you're not prepared to put something down as a sacrifice to demonstrate that you are really committed, it ain't going to happen. Can I share very briefly? Yes, I know we didn't want it to be this long, yeah, but, no, it's cool. but my very yes, my very first sacrifice in investing in myself was twenty-five thousand dollars, American dollars. I didn't have it. I had twenty-two hundred dollars. I'm re retiring from the military. They're still trying to figure out my benefits because I'm paid for the rest of my life. Got it, but it wasn't at that time. I didn't have it. I was working in a corporate job, so I was just going between the two, getting ready to retire in corporate job. I lost my job and I started my coaching business. Had a PhD, I should be making a lot of money. It didn't work that way. But what happened was, when I wrote out the check for $2,200 that I didn't, that's the last piece of money that I had. I didn't know how I was going to do it. I had no idea and I cried. I'm walking up to the table, hands shaking. Oh my gosh, I got to invest. But I didn't think, I didn't even share with them, I don't have a job. I don't have this and so many folks both this is going on that was none of her business all I want to know can you help me build my business that's all I cared because it felt like I was about to give birth yeah, and right. I had to get it out and I walked away 25,000 made me a quarter of a million dollars in 90 days and a million dollars 12 months later no we, we just need to hear that again because I'm Nigerian and when they talk about money like my ears just like freak up can you say that again please I invested $25,000 that I didn't have when I got there, I wrote a check for $2,200. I was trying to figure out when I got home, because I'm crying trying to figure out what's going to happen. How am I going to pay for that? Within seven days, a check came in the mail that covered that times three. Unexpected check. We owe you a back pay for this. I pay for the coaching business in advance because I want a VIP. I'm special. Most people don't know I have a traumatic brain injury. They have no idea. I process things differently. Writing down notes, I can't do that. It has to be here, and it has to be in here. I went from there, made, invested $25,000 within 90 days. In one day, this one day event, 90 days I had to get my mind right because it's all mindset, 10% skill. I had an event, I made a quarter of a million dollars. That's $250,000 in one day. Doing something that I love. I had no idea it was going to happen and I was nervous. A quarter of a million dollars in 90 days. Within 12 months I had made a million dollars. Just coaching about my life. How crazy is that? Oh, that's crazy. Who would have thought? Now, it wasn't even a business. It was a hobby at the moment. And I was like, wait a minute. Hey, this may be real. <laughs> and then it began to grow and beginning to get international clients. I'm saying this not to brag. I'm saying this for someone who's trying to figure out their life. Can I look in the audience? Because yes, I'm about to do it. Trying to figure out your life and what it is that you're supposed to be doing. Figure it out as you go. Don't sit there and I got to think about it for a minute. Do it now. There's no better time now to be a woman than now. Wow. So, I ain't a woman, but hey, but, <laughs> I, be but, right now, huh? but I've harnessed my feminine energy and I know how to use it. And, and you're absolutely right. And I just want to echo one point. You see that story that she just spoke about? There's a one word that really describes what took place there. And that one word is a demonstration, not a speaking. A demonstration of faith. Yes, absolutely. That was it. Are you a product of your faith? Are you a product of your faith? Don't make me go there. Yeah, go there. I hear so many people say, oh, they believe in God or a higher power. But if you know who he is and you understand the word, there should be some seeds that you planted, but there should be fruits falling from that tree. And a lot of times there's no fruit. Oh, we believe and I'm just, I'm just waiting on God. No, you're not. You're waiting so you're not scared anymore. There's no more waiting. He's waiting on you. And once I realized he was waiting on me, all I needed to do was move and take action. And now I understand when I declare a thing, it shall come to pass. Wow. Have you guys enjoyed? <laughs> Has it been great? Okay. A round of applause. I think so. So we're going to work something out yes. and, and, and stay connected. Sure. I'll be uh, back quite often. Well, we're going to make something. We're going to stay connected. So for now, we're going to edit this and we're going to put this on Dada TV. 
And so I just want to say thank you so much for making the time and making yourself available and pouring out your soul in a real and meaningful way. So listen, I'm just so honored right now to spend some time with you. Meet Tony Dada and Dr. Sonia from Dada TV. Stay connected. Till then, next time, love time.